The moon, the earth, and the sun are all going around in space, right? And so earth is orbiting around the sun. Meanwhile, the moon is going around earth. And sometimes we all just by chance kind of line up in a line. So I'm Morgan McLeod. I'm an astronomer at the Harvard Smithsonian Center for Astrophysics in Cambridge, Massachusetts. So a solar eclipse is when the moon in the sky blocks all or part of the sun. And we have an eclipse coming up this fall on October 14th, 2023. And it's what's called an annular eclipse. Annular means ring. And so what's going to happen is that the moon is going to cross perfectly in front of the sun. And something you may have noticed is both the moon and the sun look about the same size in our sky. And that's not because they're the same size. They're different sizes and different distances away. So the moon is much closer and much smaller. And the sun is much bigger and much further away. They're about a half degree in angle. It's about the size of a fingernail on the sky. What that means is that the moon is about the right size to block the sun if it's lined up just right. A total eclipse is when the moon is perfectly blocking the sun on the sky and it completely blocks the glowing hot disk of the sun. And all we see is the atmosphere around the sun. We're seeing the sun's extremely hot million degree atmosphere. It's actually hotter than the surface of the sun. The surface of the sun is about 5,000 degrees, but its atmosphere is close to a million. An annular eclipse is what would be a total eclipse, but it's at its furthest point in its orbit. It's closer to 400,000 kilometers away than its average of 380,000. It's a little bit too small to cover the entire sun. And what we'll see instead is a ring of bright sun around the outside and most of the sun blocked out by the moon. When you see that with just your eyes, you know, the sun is so bright, it's hard to see what's going on. But if you have either a pinhole projector or uh, eclipse glasses, you can see a perfect ring of lit up sun just behind the moon. And so unlike a lunar eclipse where you can see anywhere that it's nighttime, a solar eclipse, you have to be just in the right spot on the Earth. And so people will travel all over the Earth just to be in the path of a solar eclipse. The path of the moon blocking the sun is narrow on Earth. And so it's a narrow path that will see a total eclipse, a much bigger path that will see a partial eclipse. So even if an eclipse is total somewhere, it's partial somewhere else. So just being a few cities away might be enough that you're not like aligned um, enough and you would see a partial instead of a total eclipse. Now, to get that kind of perfect alignment with a perfect ring, you have to be right in the path of that. The path of that eclipse, it passes through Texas, for example. Where I live in Massachusetts, we'll see a partial eclipse. So the moon will miss a little bit, but it'll partially block out the sun's light. And the part where the moon perfectly blocks out the sun is only a couple minutes long. But um, it's supposedly a completely amazing moment because rather than just our sun's normal bright disk, you get to see its hot outer atmosphere that's normally glowing. Most of that energy is coming off as x-rays and you see this sort of stringy outer atmosphere. For just a moment, it becomes night in the middle of the day and all the animals react and it, it's this kind of amazing thing.